Good morning. It's Tom on the side of the Green Shorts Greenhouse. And some of you may be curious that that is actually our house. We're building a home. Our builder here, uh, Luis Emery of Emery Group, is doing a great job for us so far. And I thought I'd take a few minutes this morning to show you what a house looks like when it's still flat. Behind me, you can see all of the lumber for the framing portion of the job, which is going to start tomorrow, and we're really excited about that. This uh, bomb shelter behind me is going to start to look like a real house. So, I want to give you a quick look at what's here so you can see some of the cool stuff that's going to be used in the making of this house. So, our sub floor is Advantech, which is a Huber product. And pretty standard sub floor, at least how it looks. One interesting note is that this is the SFI product, Sustainable Forestry Initiative. It's a certification program that certifies that this wood is sustainably grown and harvested. You may also be familiar with FSC certification, which is the Forestry Stewardship Council. We're also using the zip system sheathing. And this is, uh, it's got a an OSB, but it's impregnated with a vinyl layer. You can see the green layer here on this sheathing. That's gonna provide an air barrier on the outside of the house. But this is unique. You can see we've got what's called R6. So the sheathing comes with no backing, but this particular zip has a R6 rigid foam on the back of it. You go down the stack here to one that's got a little opening on it. Actually, I opened this yesterday to look at it. But you can see that we've got a rigid foam on the back of the sheathing that gives us an R6 value on the outside of the house. So that's going to prevent or reduce what's called thermal bridging, which is when we have a stud the R value of wood is one per inch. So the heat uh, travels out of the house or into the house through the dimensional lumber. That's called thermal bridging. So by having that sheathing on the outside, that R6 on the outside of the house, that helps reduce thermal bridging. We're also using 2x6s for the studs instead of a 2x4 because that allows us to use less wood on the outside of the house, which allows us to have more insulation. Also, the, the width of the 2x6 allows us to have that much more insulation in the wall cavity. We'll be using spray foam, which is going to fill up that cavity with a nice tight foam insulation excited about the zip sheathing. It's going to use the four. And then of course all the seams are taped because the most important system in your house is the exterior. The You can see the tape there in that box. It's muddy so I'm not going to walk across there. And then of course beyond that you see all the dimensional lumber. We've got some OSB beams, laminated beams. Go look at the eye joists too building this house right now and most of my shoes are muddy even my nice shoes so here are the joist system the floor system eye beams and then these are our spans so a couple spans in the house that we'll need to go across open, larger openings and we've got these this engineered lumber that's going to let us cross those. So I asked the question to the builder this morning, Luis, to find out what uh, what we were doing with the roof. Zip will go on the roof line as well, but not the arbor. So we'll use the, just the regular zip sheathing without the insulation on the back. We'll be insulating with spray foam all the way to the roof line. On YouTube, you can connect with the series of videos I'm doing about this project. And that'll get into not only the products we're using on the house, but some of the unique and maybe even crazy things I'm doing to make it 
more green. We're going to be doing some open houses on this project throughout the process. Well, I say throughout. We'll have one open house that we call pre-drywall. In other words, while you can still see in the walls. Because a lot of the technology we're using here is going to be hidden once the drywall goes up. And then we'll have another open house right before we move in to let people see what the house looks like when it's finished or nearly finished. Because that's the purpose of this, is to illustrate what makes a green home green. Because a lot of the things are simple techniques, a lot of the things are um, not expensive technology. Just attention to detail, like that sealing the building envelope that the zip is going to allow us to do, and the, the spray foam will allow us to do very effectively. Thanks for watching. Please like and share, and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.